Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Egatech. You guessed it guys, another unboxing for you and I've got the Realme 6 Pro right here. With the relaxed community quarantine in effect, stores are now getting stocked up on the latest releases from some of the major smartphone makers. What we have here is Realme's latest entry into the mid-range market. And as I said before, this is the Realme 6 Pro. Before we open up the box, let's start with the pricing. The Realme 6 Pro with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage starts off at 16,990 Philippine pesos. The non-pro version on the other hand has two variants. The 4GB 128, the 4GB with 128 of storage is 11,990, while the 8GB and 128 is 2,000 pesos more which is sitting at 13,990. If you have the extra cash, the 8 128 is a better option as there is no way to increase RAM on your phone. Price-wise, the non-pro Realme 6 is the successor to last year's Realme 5 Pro which I have right here. So is the Realme 6 Pro a better buy than the vanilla Realme 6? Let's find out. The 6 Pro comes in Realme's usual yellow box, just the number 6 and a small Pro on the front. And at the back, you have the phone's key specs. So this has a 64 megapixel quad camera with a 20x hybrid zoom. In display dual selfie and it states this has a 90hz smooth display. And of course you've got a 30 watt flash charge with a 4300mAh battery. The Realme 6 Pro comes with the Snapdragon 720G whereas the Realme 6 comes with the MediaTek Helio G90T. So let's see what's in the box guys. Nothing there. So we're greeted with the message, hey welcome to the Realme family and what else is here so let's embrace a new journey. Okay, Inside this box we've got a smoke colored jelly case like I usually say not the best for drop protection but it'll do and of course you've got the usual quick guide and documents I'll just put that aside for now okay then we have the phone over here let's see if I can get it okay as usual let's put it aside and see what else is in the box okay there is this pretty sizable charging brick which is rated at 30 watts with Realme claiming a full charge from 0 to 100 in under an hour. Let's put the phone through its paces and see whether that holds up. Okay, and then you've got the USB-C to USB-A and you've got the yellow kind of color on it. Color coordinated, pretty nice. And of course, you've got the SIM ejector pin. The phone doesn't seem to have an included headset here guys, so you have to use uh, one of your own. But let's check out the phone and see whether you can use a wired piece of headphones. And yep, I can still see there's a headphone jack there. Okay, time to unwrap this phone. Uh, let's go. Slide it down. And there it is. Realme has produced some bold and eye-catching color variants and this phone is no different. Here in my region, we have two color options, the lightning blue and lightning red. The one I chose is the red one as you can see right here. The back panel of this phone has a lightning effect that changes based on the angle you're looking at. It looks like an S at first glance or a lightning bolt in some angles. So I guess that's where they got the name lightning red from because of the lightning kind of effect on the back. I personally like how it looks though of course it all comes down to personal preference. Now let's turn the phone on and while I'm doing that, let's discuss the build and design. This year, Realme have opted to use a glass back. Um, this means it's more important to invest in a good case as both front and back will be prone to cracking if the phone is dropped. There's a factory applied screen protector on the phone but it's good to know that the front glass is protected by Gorilla Glass 5. This year, Realme has advertised a 3 layer waterproofing design though there's still no IP rating on this though it's good to know that in case of an accident it won't mean instant death for your phone. At the bottom, you have the USB-C charging port, a single downward firing speaker, 
And good news, as I said before, the headphone jack is still included on this phone. You've got the volume buttons on the left, made of plastic but still pretty clicky. And on the right, you've got a recess power button which serves as the fingerprint scanner. The top is pretty bare on the other hand with just a pinhole for the secondary mic. The Realme 6 Pro comes with a triple SIM tray so you can use two SIMs and a micro SD card all at the same time. The display is a 6.6 inch IPS LCD Full HD Plus display. Colors are nice and vibrant though it looks like my main complaint of the Realme 5 Pro released last year will still be my main complaint on this year's model and that would be the max brightness. Realme is advertising a max auto brightness of just 480 nits, so it would definitely be a struggle to view the screen in direct sunlight. One thing I didn't expect in this price range is a 90Hz display. This makes simple tasks such as scrolling and navigating the UI will definitely appear smoother. It's something hard to unsee and would make it hard to go back to a lower 60Hz or a regular refresh rate. And one thing I noticed in the phone is that the bezels are not too thick and the default wallpaper kind of hides that punch hole over there. So let me try to change the wallpaper and make it more visible. Yeah, I guess all the default wallpapers will hide that punch hole. So let's pick something light. And there it is, it's popping out guys. So in this price range, pleasant surprise for the punch hole. Uh, kind of like the placement of the punch hole on the left side rather than on the right side like on the S10 Plus. But that's just personal preference. Okay, next let's talk about the cameras. The Realme 6 Pro comes with a versatile camera system, a 64 megapixel primary, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel telephoto, and a 2 megapixel macro lens at the back. On the front, like we've seen, we've got two front facing cameras, so that makes the punch hole pretty big. So I've got a 16 megapixel main and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. The max video resolution on this thing is 4K at 30 FPS, so those looking for 4K at 60 might want to look elsewhere, but at this price range, it's still pretty good. I am planning to make a camera comparison video with other mid-range phones soon so keep an eye out for that video guys. Next let's talk about the OS. Realme uses Realme UI based on Android 10. It's clean and very easy to navigate. It has all the latest features like system colors, animations, icon customization, smart sidebar, writing mode, game space, screen off display, fraud prevention, private space, and dark mode just to name a few. Next let's talk about the performance. Powering this device is the Snapdragon 720G. Some reviewers are actually saying that it performs better than the 730G. I'll probably put the phone through its paces, run a couple of games and benchmarks and let you know how I feel. Though I doubt this phone would have any problems with the 8GB of RAM and the decent CPU that it has. I installed Blade and Soul, one of the more graphic intensive games from the Play Store and I wanted to see how well the phone runs it. So let's go to the GFX quality. I'll set it to very high. Okay, I've set all settings to very high and let's turn on anti-aliasing. So it looks pretty smooth guys. screen is pretty good. It's a 90Hz display like I mentioned before and colors are pretty good. It, it pops out. And let's try to get into some action here so we'll see if there's any stutters or any slowdown on the phone. Put the speaker up so at least you can speak, you can hear what's happening on screen. Okay, 
So I don't think this phone will have any trouble running any of the latest games. Looks like another winner from Realme here. So we know that the phone can game, but how long will we be able to game on the phone in a single charge? The battery on the Realme 6 Pro comes in at 4300mAh, slightly larger than last year's Realme 5 Pro over here. This one only comes in at the 4035mAh, but I did have very good battery life on this. Even with extended gaming sessions, I easily able to do around 5-6 to six hours of screen on time. Though you can notice that this year's Realme 6 Pro is a lot larger than the Realme 5 Pro and of course you've got the punch hole instead of the water drop notch over here. And of course, a glass back on the Realme 6 Pro whereas this one is still plastic or plastic. Let's put that down. Charging on the Realme 6 Pro from 0 to 100 is advertised to be less than an hour with that 30 watt fast charger or the root charger. I'm going to be doing a separate battery drain test. I'll be comparing some of the latest mid-range phones. Then I'll be doing a charge test and see whether that number that Realme advertised holds up. And as usual, no unboxing of mine will be complete without my speaker test. So let's try to find where YouTube is. Let me just load up my usual music test for you guys. Hang on. It's not that bad, it will be able to fill up a small room so you don't have to rely on a Bluetooth speaker. But one thing that you have to be careful of with a single downward firing speaker is that when you're playing games and you hold it like so, you tend to cover the speaker. So it's going to sound muffled, so like this. But with all the specs and features that you've got on this phone, uh, I don't think that having a single speaker is a deal breaker, though it isn't for me. So in conclusion, is the Realme 6 Pro worth getting over the regular Realme 6? They both have a 90Hz display, with the Pro having a slightly bigger 6.6 inch screen over 6.5 on the Realme 6. And, and another difference is that the Realme 6 comes with the Helio G90T, which actually scores a bit higher on synthetic benchmarks. But the Snapdragon equipped 6 Pro should last longer as the chipset is more power efficient. What you do miss out on is the telephoto lens which is missing on the regular Realme 6 but all the other cameras are the same. So is all that worth the extra 3,000 pesos? In my opinion, yes it is, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. So let me know in the comment section down below if this is one piece of tech that you wanna get. And until then, we'll end this quick video here guys. As usual, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in my next one.